Books here. Welcome back to my channel and happy International Women's Day to all the women who watch my channel, especially to my mommy who is one of my biggest fans and who I know is going to watch this video. Today, in honor of International Women's Day, I thought that I'd make a video about women supporting each other. Women authors specifically supporting other women authors and so because it's something that's always interested me I decided that I would look on some book blurbs and see which authors which female authors support other female authors and try to see if we can get a chain of female support in books so here's where we're starting I picked this one up by random this is things that happened before the earthquake by Chiara Barzini and she's an Italian writer. The first blurb on the back of this book says, Chiara Barzini has a powerful voice. Her writing is both tense and open. The effect is surprising, subversive, and singular. And that is from Jhumpa Lahiri, author of Interpreter of Maladies. So now, to continue the chain, we're gonna see who blurb Jhumpa Lahiri's book and whether we can continue this chain. Jhumpa Lahiri is the kind of writer who makes you want to grab the next person you see and say, read this. That is from Amy Tan. Unfortunately, I don't have any Amy Tan books on my shelf. So we're going to try another book by Jhumpa Lahiri, which is the namesake. And we're going to see whether there are any authors who blurbed her that I have. There are a lot of editorial reviews and praises for the namesake in this book but no other authors that I know. So the chain of support broke, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. Other blurbs on Chiara Barzini's book are from Ty Selassie, author of Ghana Must Go, which is a book that I bought last year and still haven't read. But Ty Selassie is a British-based author. Well, essentially she was born in London, raised in Massachusetts, and she currently lives in Rome. Her book is blurbed by Teju Cole, author of Open City, which even though Teju Cole is a man, it's okay for men to support women. So we're gonna use his book and see if we can continue the chain of support. Teju Cole is blurbed by Colm Toybin, author of The Master and Brooklyn. Now let's see who blurbs Colm Toybin's books. Colm Toybin is blurbed by Alice Siebold, author of The Lovely Bones which sadly, I do not own. The chain broke again. A book that was recently long list for the Women's Prize this year is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. And Gail Honeyman's book is blurbed by Jojo Moyes, number one New York Times bestselling author of Me Before You. This one is the movie edition of the book. And let's see. There are a couple of blurbs from female authors, Eleanor Brown, author of The Weird Sisters, and Adriana Trigiani, author of The Shoemaker's Wife, and Lee Woodruff, author of Those We Love the Most. I don't have any of those books, so the chain broke again, except I have The Last Letter from Your Lover, which is blurred by Sophie Kinsella, which I don't own a Sophie Kinsella book, even though I used to really like reading the Shopaholic series. She's also blurbed by Paula McLean, author of The Paris Wife, which I've heard about but haven't read. In this one, she gets a blurb from none other than Anne Lamott, who says, this is a hilarious, heartbreaking, riveting novel. I will stake my reputation on this book. Anne Lamott, who wrote Bird by Bird. In this one, Anne Lamott gets a blurb from Isabel Allende. Do I have an Isabel Allende book? Sadly, I don't have an Isabel Allende book. So the chain broke, <laughs> again. <laughs> But we have lots of books, so we're going to keep trying. Here's another book that was written by a female author. This is Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. Maria Semple is right here. She lives in Seattle. This one was blurbed by Jonathan Franzen, author of Freedom, which is here. This one isn't blurbed by anyone that I know. Neither is this one. I don't see any blurbs by any authors in this one. I might just be missing it, but I don't see it. So... That chain didn't go anywhere, but this one was also blurred by Kate Atkinson, who wrote Life After Life. And Kate Atkinson, right here, is blurred by Gillian Flynn, author of Gone Girl, which I don't have Gone Girl, but I do have Dark Places. And in Dark Places, Gillian Flynn is also blurred by Kate Atkinson. So this isn't really a chain, except to say that the chain is starting to double back. So we're gonna abandon this chain and see if we can find another one. We have The Lauras by Sarah Taylor, which is blurred by Ali Smith, author of Winter. Winter is a brand new hardcover release, so there are no author blurbs on this one yet. 
The chain broke again. The chain broke again, but no problem because we still have lots of books by international women authors. This one, The Laura's, is written by Sarah Taylor. That's her right there. And of course, Ali Smith is right here. And Ali Smith lives in London. Sarah Taylor lives in the United States. International to some people. <laughs> Things We Lost in the Fire, stories by Mariana Enriquez. This is an Argentinian writer, and she is blurbed by none other than Helen Oyeyemi, author of Boy Snowbird. This book doesn't have any author blurbs, so the chain broke with these two ladies. But before we move on, Mariana Enriquez is an Argentinian writer. That's her right there. And Helen Oyeyemi, she is of Nigerian descent, and she lives in Prague. And we're going to move on because we still have lots of international writers. I just read this book called Family Tree by Susan Wiggs. I got this one from the publisher to review. And this is the author right here. This is Susan Wiggs. She grew up in upstate New York. And her book is blurbed by Jodi Picoult. And Jodi Picoult wrote Small Great Things, which I read last year. And Jodi Picoult has written lots of books. And so she has lots of blurbs. But unfortunately, none of them are printed in this edition because this is the first edition hardcover, which usually doesn't have a lot of author blurbs. But this is Jodie Picoult, and of course, she's an American writer. Where is Jodie Picoult from? She lives in New Hampshire. So international to some people, but in any case, that chain broke again. We have A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, which is one of my favorite books from last year. Among many other authors, she's recommended by Karen Joy Fowler, who says A Tale for the Time Being is equal parts mystery and meditation. And Karen Joy Fowler is the author of We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves, which both of these were nominated for the Man Booker Prize. This is there. There's no picture of Ruth Ozeki in this copy, but she's a Japanese writer. And Karen Joy Fowler is, I don't think there are any pictures of her in here either. Karen Joy Fowler wrote the Jane Austen Book Club, which I don't think I read the book, but I watched the movie and really enjoyed it. And Karen Joy Fowler's book is blurbed by Alice Siebold, author of The Lovely Bones, which I don't have. And again, Ruth Ozeki, A Tale for the Time Being. So these two books link back to each other. Let's see if there's anyone else that is in Alice Siebold also supports this book. Elizabeth Gilbert, author of Eat, Pray, Love, is also a blurber, but I don't have her books. So that's it. We're gonna call this attempt to form a chain of book blurbs a failure. But we did get a chance to mention some really great international female authors, and I think that's the way that we can support our female authors by talking about their books, encouraging each other to read their books, and spreading the love for these international female authors as far and as wide as they can go. So before we go, I'm just going to mention some other international female authors that are on my shelves. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, author of so many books, including Americana, The Thing Around Your Neck, Purple Hibiscus, Half of a Yellow Sun, I Could Keep Going. Zadie Smith, who wrote White Teeth, and she has a brand new essay collection out. I'm going to be reading and reviewing that pretty soon. Zadie Smith, I think, right now is based in New York, but she's from London, as is Paula Hawkins, who wrote Girl on the Train, and Elena Ferrante, who wrote the Neapolitan novels, which started with my brilliant friend. She's based in Italy. Oh, the stack is getting taller. As well as we have Novalet Bulawayo. This was a Man Booker Prize finalist, and she's from Zimbabwe. Her picture is right here, and this is also a pseudonym. We have Camille Bordas, who wrote How to Behave in a Crowd. She's a French writer. And of course, Yajiasi, who is a Ghanaian writer who burst on the scene a couple of years ago with this book. So we have lots of books by female writers that we can read and spread support and love to all these international female authors in our lives. So thanks for watching this video. Next time I attempt a book chain, hopefully it will be more successful. But until then, happy reading and happy International Women's Day to all of you. Bye!